hello everybody this is Didi Richard one here and this is a pretty crazy video that I'm making for you today so before you is my complete Jimmy Edwardian Butler collection or perhaps you would say collapsing Butler collection this has taken over 10 years to get to this point from when I got the first one but the goals really started in 2007. And here we are today. Even though I won't be demoing any of them today, there's a huge shout out to the YouTuber CJ Webler. CJ Webler. That's what they tell me, he's just the best. You know, he truly has just done such an impact on these butlers here. Some of them just had a couple split years, others were far worse, far worse. And it's just incredible the amount of time and effort that's gone into this. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel when we did this video because like, yeah, it'll look really cool and awesome and stuff, but it's just, it's just like, man, I have a lot of butlers. That's, is that something to be proud of? You know, uh, comment down below what you think. Is this something that I should be proud of? Or is this just like, bruh? I guess that's up to you guys. <laughs> but yeah, me personally, like, yeah, there's a lot of them here, but there's some pieces that I just never could have even dreamed of owning, but I have them now. And it's truly one of my I'd say greatest accomplishments in my collecting times, but you now I'm just going to kind of show each of them to you and just do a little Lord drop. But yeah, so the first ever Jimmy Six Foot Collapsing character was Butler Wade in 2004. This is the 04 model. Um, this one has been through a lot. He has, he was purchased uh, he, in Sam's Club or whatever in 2004 and is still owned by the original owner and in all that time he has been rented at parties and events and what have you throughout the city like since then. So he's had a lot of wear. To my amazement, in the warehouse, I found his original tray, but his original hand was not there. So Derpy Butler is lending that over for this video. Um, aside from the obvious fading on the clothes and the red marks on the face, it's a really awesome looking 04 Wade. Some of them look like a typical Wade, but this one has like some dark paint and then like the lips are like not painted so it looks like they're actually pigmented like the phantom in a way it's just a really cool look his arm is like loose right here there's a joint next we have my first jimmy six foot character who has some issues but fully works this is the 05 model 2005, they made a f several butlers, um, but when it comes to Butler Wade here, they made this one, and at Walmart, they sold one with phrases. And this one behaves like the 04 does. Next, we have the butler of the masquerade, or the phantom of the masquerade, if you will. Basically, Wade Phantom is what he's known as, and this was a kind of more cost-effective version of the Jimmy Life Size Phantom, but they just transformed the butler into that. And if you've seen this guy before, he has some gnarly teeth under there. But he's still very much butler, so that's why he's here, and the regular Phantom is not. Because the regular Phantom is, as some would say, indisposed at the moment. You must please be patient. But he also just was really different from the rest anyways. Still in 2005, we have the Burgundy Butler, who was made for May department stores. 
he retailed for $330 in 2005, which is crazy. But then again, made it was a department store. And just like two months after he was shipped out, uh, May Department Stores went out of business and was bought out by Macy's. So Macy's and Macy's owned department stores got a lot of this inventory. And he is very nicely made. He truly has clothing made of fine fabrics, much as the wrapping butler and 05 Edwardian have. And then, of course, in 2006, they brought him back and he was sold at more places. Um, this particular one I've actually had for nine years now. Got him in 2015, and I got the weight in 2014. And this one was a store display at a grocery store. That's all I know. That's all the lore I have for him. But he was sold at, like, I think Halloween Express or Halloween USA. He was sold at buycostumes.com. Several places. Next, we have the wrapping butler. And he came after the awarding butler did, but... He shares the same head as the burgundy. And this guy has body turn and arm movement. And originally he was going to be built very differently and even do kind of different stuff. But ultimately he just gestures his hand at you kind of weirdly. And he speaks several phrases and he raps. And there are different phrases from the rest of the butlers. As is with these. And Phantom over there. Then we have 05 Edwardian next to 06 Edwardian. Very different looking pieces here. The hat is higher quality on the 05 and the fabric on the costume is as well. The pattern on the vest is also different and the vest is a different material. Even between these two, it's different. And you can see that in 05, they did not have the purple button yet. That started for 2006 items. And Blade Phantom was for 2006. Then we have the Grey Hair Butler, who is a Kroger exclusive design. And it's one of the two life sizes that got me into all this that I saw as a kid. And I had him in my Halloween display last year, but I've not made a public video about it specifically. But to my surprise, CJ Wilbur managed to just procure a prototype of the Grey Hair Butler, who you can see on the left. And produced, he's the only one of these butlers with that classic face that got a saw PVC mask and injection plastic underskull, unlike just the vinyl head and regular butlers. But a reason for that is so they could root the hair better. On this one, they had to individually drill holes and put clumps of however many hairs in each hole. Originally, he had very little hair left, but CJ Wobbler replenished his his locks there. And then for whatever reason, the produced is like kind of a dark olive colored skin. And these guys are only, well, this guy was only sold at Kroger slash Fred Meyer for one year. Then we have Graves Robbers and the Fat Butler, who's just a completely different take. It's not really an Edwardian Butler. Um, he's based heavily off of Alfred Hitchcock. We have three of them here. We have an early prototype on the left. We have a slightly newer prototype. It's still very early in the middle. Those two have the prototype sculpt. And then we have an overhauled produced. And the produced sculpt is, and body shell are completely different from the prototype. They have the regular body shell and he has a different one. And down there we have two produced heads. There were about three batches of produced graves and you can see just how different they look. If you haven't seen the video on this guy, I recommend it. And last but certainly not least, we have this butler with lantern for 2009. He was made off of a 2008 character called Greaves the Grave Watcher and same item number and everything, but he was given normal butler audio and this lantern and this completely new head. And he's inspired heavily from Gag Studios' is Dobson the Butler. He has body turn, his lantern lights up, he has a puppet mouth, just overall very different approach by Jimmy for the butlers. And it's truly just crazy how, you know, I don't have all of the butlers, despite all that you see here. Technically, there's a seven 
I get 07, 08, and 09 of that one, and the 09 has the audio of the rapping butler. I have owned an 06 Wade, but he no longer is existing, to put it one way. And that's basically like it. So it's really just like four butlers I would need to have all of them. I guess it would be cool to get uh, one of them from the UK since that's where most of the 09s were sold and a lot of the 08s, but it's very close to being a complete collection of the Awardian butlers here. And at this point, it's like, do I just keep trying to go for it or do I just downsize? Because there's a lot, there's a lot of old bald men in this room, let me tell you. That there's a lot of these guys. And, you know, I don't have Hermione Granger's little infinite bag to store stuff. So these guys are taking up a lot of room. Um, but obviously there's some that are just super worthwhile and incredible to have, and they're all great pieces in their own way. But I'll have to see. But there's just so much to take in here. I mean, so many men, <laughs> you know, so many butlers. But yeah, just at this point, I'm kind of speechless because of the sight that's before me right now. But I want you guys to comment down below if you made it this far, if you did, what a trooper you are, and just say what your favorite butler is. Maybe you saw one in store as a kid, or you just have some kind of fond memory with one because 04 Wade over there started all of the other Jimmy Six Foot characters and really a lot of the Halloween market that we know today. Beforehand, if you wanted a life size character, it was either like super weirdly put together, super duper expensive, or just for like a theme park or something. But with him, we basically got the industry that we have today. So there's a lot to be thankful for there. You know, it's just really insane how all of these are different and how there's still about four more that I don't have. But truth be told, I don't even know if I could fit four more into frame here. <laughs> but maybe the goal will be just having owned all of them because I really don't need them all and I don't have infinite space either. If I had infinite space, heck yeah, I'd have all of them, but I don't. But yeah, this, I, I, I'm i just, I'm talking at this point, like I have been the whole time. There's so much to look at. I'll do one last walk around here. But like I said, comment down below if you have any favorites. Maybe which butlers do you have? Which do you have fond memories of? Which is your favorite? Which is your least favorite? all that stuff. And there are some unreleased variants that I still don't have. And ultimately the goal would be to find those and then a super early prototype of 04 Wade here because that's just such a historically significant piece. But at this point, I've shown it all. My battery is too low to use flash, my phone says. Yeah, this was the Edwardian Butler Animatronic Collection by Donovan, I guess, and brought to you by CJ Webler. If you want more, like and subscribe. If you want to see an individual video on any of these, comment down below. And that's about it. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.